Okay. Um, I'm really nervous about doing this video. I don't really know what to do, but we'll just go with it. Um, as many of you guys know, um, me and Charles got engaged on the on the thirteenth of July two thousand and twenty. Um. It was my 20th birthday, no sorry, it was, yeah, I think it was 2000, no, 2019, sorry. Um, it was my 20th birthday and it was the best day of my life really, it was, it was amazing, I loved it. And we've been thinking about like what sort of month or year we want to get married and how much we have to save up. Um... Sorry, I got some paper here that I wrote everything down. Right, so at the moment, um, because we've decided that we're gonna obviously put money from our own accounts towards it, and I think my grandma and granddad are helping us, and Charles's mum's probably gonna help us as well. Um, pay for some of the stuff. So, at the moment, in our joint account, we have got um five hundred and fifty-five pound. Um, we got some money towards for Christmas from our families to both of us. So um, we're gonna be putting fifty pound in. So I've reached to six hundred and five pound. Um, and we basically have to save up roughly about two thousand pound. Um, for the honeymoon. Now Charles wants to go to Universal Studios in Florida um for three weeks so <laughs> that's gonna be fun but i don't mind it's whatever he wants i don't really mind so but yeah um and basically we've got to put 25 pound in a month every month we've got to put 25 pound into our account um but obviously we've got birthday christmas and obviously easter as well um it's so like it's charles's 22nd birthday i'm more expecting him to get money like <clears throat> sorry I'm not expecting him to use the money out of his birthday money to put towards the honeymoon. But if he wants to, then he can. It's more it's up to him. Um, but if he does get money, then he can put that towards it. If not, then it's up to him. He can just use what he wants to use it with. But uh, yeah, if we get money for like Christmas, Easter or um, birthdays, that will have to go in there. Um, we've got till... August 2022 now that is the date for getting married well, we're going to be getting married on August the 15th 2022 so I will be 23 he will be 23 at the moment I'm only 21 my 22nd birthday is in July so yeah and Charles's 22nd birthday is in February so um yeah, we have a year, but my grandma said it's basically two years. Technically, if you count this year and next year, that is two years. So we have two years to basically save everything up. So, um, but yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to go through with all of you guys. I have a lot of stuff to type up. Um, and I have a lot of stuff to decide on what I'm going to do, like who's coming and everything. Um, and obviously I've got to search up how much the dresses are going to be, how much food is, the reception, obviously where we're going to have, like, like, for example, if I want a reception hall, or if I want, like, yeah, obviously we're going to have a reception hall, but i got to try and find out how much that is, and obviously the church, the, like, transports, so like cars, a limo, or a horse and carriage, um, I gotta find out how much the shoes and tiaras will be for the bridesmaids trust plus me. Suits for Charles and all the groomsmen. Got gotta get red and wings, invitation, food, so a lot. Um <laughs> I'll just start off with the first things that I've written written down. Um so obviously at the moment I have my bride's name bridesmaids names written down. I'm not gonna do that just because of privacy. Um but I've got Four bridesmaids so far. I have one of them is my maid of honor. I have one of them who are my best friends from work. Um, and then I have Charles's two sisters who are going to be flower. No, sorry, Charles's 
two nieces are going to be flower girls um but yeah so the first thing that i want to talk about is wedding transports so um the sort of transport that i want is either a limo or a horse and carriage now for like all like the like bridesmaids and groomsmen they will have to go in and set a car together because they will have to arrive together so we're either thinking of doing them taxi um like a posh car or a limo for them um and also and if it's a limo we have to also have charles's mom stepdad and like the sister in there and then you have to have also i think i have to have my grandma in there as well so it was like but yeah i have to see about that how much that is and then for me i'm gonna have a horse and carriage hopefully and i gotta see how much that is um be for me to go down to the church with with my granddad um but yeah i gotta see how much that's gonna cost um and then i got reception hall and food now for the reception we were thinking of either um the rugby ground that's near us or um where charles had his prom and i can't remember what it's called i think it's a golf court or something he said it is it's really nice um we went there one year for um one of our friends Kara's birthdays so we went there that was really nice so we're gonna see about trying to book that um we got flowers and bouquet like flower bouquets so um i have to get the bouquets for the bridesmaids gonna have to see how much that's gonna cost i have to get the little ones for the men to put on for the groom like the, the groom's ones for them to put on i have to get some for the flower girls um and then my dress i have kind of chosen a price range it will be anywhere from 1000 to about it can go from anywhere to 1000 to about 5000 now my price range will probably be 1200 or like a bit more than that sorry at the moment i gotta try and figure out how much um that's gonna be and obviously i have to save up for like the flat and stuff as well um so hopefully when that's all sorted i can see about how much i'm gonna have for the dress and stuff um but yeah i'm paying for my dress myself so <laughs> that's gonna be good but yeah um and then i gotta see how much my shoes and tiaras are gonna be because my shoes plus the bridesmaid's shoes um then i'm getting tiaras for all of them as well so they have to have tiaras so i'm gonna have to see about that as well um and then charles is in charge of suits for him and the groomsmen um <coughs> but yeah and then me and Charles have decided that we're going to be having rose gold red and red and blah, 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 sorry, wedding ring bands that we saw in F Hines. That's a jewellers by us. So we're going to see if we can um, try and get those. I think they go between anywhere from 150 to 200 pound, depending on the size. So we're going to go for those. Um, and then food wise, we have been thinking maybe hog roast. So it's basically a pig. Um, they basically eat. i'm sorry if there's any vegetarians i'm sorry um but this is like a real traditional sort of things so we're having uh hog roast so it would be pig stuffing and apple pot apple sauce in that in a in a roll it's really nice um that's this is food for adults um and then you have kids because i know a lot of kids might not like it um i was thinking hot dogs burgers and sausage rolls so they have the option of what they want um and then drinks for i think everyone now um we're gonna have punch fizzies um non-alcoholic cocktails will be for the kids and then as soon as everyone goes for the doors who are adults we're gonna give everyone a wine a wine uh but like a glass with wine in it when they go for the door um now for the bar I don't know you guys wouldn't notice because we didn't actually film our film our engagement um party video but for our engagement party we basically did where um we'd give everyone a raffle ticket when they went through the door and that raffle ticket was basically means they could get a free drink 
So obviously we're going to be giving them a wine glass when they go through the door first, as well as a, a raffle ticket. Now that raffle ticket can be towards any drink they want. Doesn't have it doesn't matter as long as they had the raffle ticket. Um, they might have to take ID with them. That's completely understandable. Um, but yeah, um, that's gonna be that. So they basically just take goes to the bar, give them a raffle ticket. They tell them what they want, and they can just tell they'd have to pay for it. So that's what we did for our engagement party, and we're gonna do that again this time for the wedding. Um, we might just give it. They might have like one or two of them, but then afterwards they have to pay. So, yep. Um, and then we're gonna have a DJ that we're gonna see about Charles's mum sorting out because she knew the DJ that was at our engagement party. He was really good. So we're gonna see about if she can book him for that. Um, and then. We're also gonna also gotta see if we can get anyone to um hang on. Yeah, so I also gotta think about other drinks that kids can have as well, so that's gonna be a fun experience. But yeah. Um and then I've started just writing a list of names on the back of this piece of paper of people that we're going to invite and at the moment I have fin nearly finished a list of mine I will be typing it up, that's why I've got my laptop behind me um, I'm on Charles's side now um, but yeah, basically our wedding is going to be August the 15th, 2022 we'd hope that all of you guys enjoy this video and we hope that you guys will enjoy our wedding um, we're hoping that we'll try and vlog, or if not, we're going to get video photographers and photo photographers to obviously take photos and film it for us. If not, we will try and get someone to film bits of it through the day, and I will just upload it that way. Um, because you guys are our second family, and we actually love filming videos for you, so we appreciate if you guys come along to the wedding for it with us. But yeah, um... We're trying to do the theme of rose gold stuff, so like our rings would be rose gold, like the tiaras would be rose gold, um, the, men to ha the men are having cufflinks with crowns on, they're going to be rose gold, so basically that's, that's going to be like the kind of theme, but then when it comes to like the dresses, it's going to be like pink, like probably like, I don't know, like pink or like baby pink sort of colours, and then um, the men are going to have like blue suits with like a pink corsage and like a pink tie or a bow tie, it's up to them. Um, and then they can either have the option to wear a top hat or nothing on the head. So, but yeah, um, I think that's everything I have to talk about to you guys, but I will do a proper in-depth video with you over the the next couple of like months or if not it won't be this yeah it might be next year beginning of it um and i'm hoping then i'll probably might do some wedding film like theme stuff so i might do come wedding dress shopping with me i won't be able to upload it because charles so i might have to like basically cut the one of me and my dress out but yep yeah. uh, i'm gonna be doing bridesmaids proposal boxes and i'm also going to be doing a video of the venue um and then I might also show you like a video or pictures of like the transport we're having. Um, and then I'm hoping someone will obviously film the wedding. And then also our honeymoon. So I'm hoping we might film some of that. But it's like little bits though. Because we don't want to film all of it. Because obviously it'll be our day. Our like holiday. So yeah. Um, all together it should be seven or eight videos. That I'll be like there in the next like in the year or so. Next year. Um. But yeah, we're going to probably send our invitations out, like, probably June, July time next year. Just so then people have, like, a couple, two, like, two months to try and sort everything out. And if they can come, they can let us know. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, comment down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!